What's up everybody, this is a quick update on the cucumber beetle traps. So I built these, I guess it was three days ago now, and I've had them out and I wanted to shoot a quick update just to show everyone what they've caught. So there are six cucumber beetles on this trap here. You can see a couple of them here. Now there are some flies and things like that, which are, some of them are, are technically considered beneficials in the garden, but uh, there aren't any bees or butterflies or any of the things that I'm, that I'm really concerned about. So there is some sort of moth that got caught up, but I'm willing to bet that some sort of nighttime flying moth that uh, is not good news for my garden. So anyway, I promised a quick update on these cucumber beetle traps. One other thing that I, that I want to mention is in the last video, I mentioned that they could possibly be for squash bugs as well. And that was because last year there were, I believe, one or two that were caught up in there. But I just, I don't really know how how or why that would work to catch, to catch squash bugs. I think it was just a coincidence. And there aren't any on these. Uh, I had this one here set up right next to a squash plant that had squash bugs on it just to see what would happen and, and nothing. So I, I do want to try taking a squash plant and maybe running it through a blender and then taking that and then using it as bait within one of these yellow cup traps. So... Um, hopefully I'll get a chance to try that soon, but this definitely works for cucumber beetles. Like I said, I've had six that have been caught on here in just the past, uh, I guess it's been three days now. So I've got to go through and check these cucumbers to see if there are any more cucumber beetles hiding in through here, but, uh, definitely, uh, worth it, um, in my book to, to take out six of those without having to do any work. So I promised a quick update on the, uh, on these traps and, and here it is. So if you have any questions about it, feel free to go to our website, www.seedaspoon.net. And, um, you can go to our YouTube videos, uh, our Facebook everywhere from there. So, uh, thanks for watching and, uh, we'll see you soon.